Before I recycle my five gallon water jug, I'm gonna turn it into a ghost for Halloween. Hi, this is Tweak. Let's make an illuminated ghost. Join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are, you will need a five gallon water jug. Empty it first. You will need a styrofoam ball, nine inch. You will need some garden netting, a pair of scissors, some fairy lights, and some sticky felt to create a face. We'll begin this project with a five gallon water jug. Ordinarily, I would recycle these, but today we're gonna do something a little different. So we have our water jug. Then we need a nine inch styrofoam ball. You could go with a smaller size if you'd like, but we want it to be a ball. We're gonna use the styrofoam ball for the head. And to get the head to fit on top of the bottle where it's going to go, no glue needed for this project. We're gonna take the lid that was on top of the bottle and I'm just gonna place it on the styrofoam ball. Now this one had a bit of a, a nook to it. So I'm just gonna press that in anywhere on the ball. And then I'm gonna take, I used a, a, a scissors and I'm using a nubby little kid scissors. And I'm just gonna go around the edge. Mark it out first with a pen or a Sharpie. But I'm using the lid itself to guide the scissors. And now I have the spot. Where I'm gonna carve out a little more to reach down. And now what I'm doing is I'm following that line and pushing in on this styrofoam. You're crunching. <laughs> now let's see if I can pull that out yet. Oh, snap. Got it. Now I've got a hole. Now that's where I can insert this. Let's see if we have it deep enough because I can dig it out a little more. I'm just gonna lay it right. Pretty tall, isn't he? He's pretty tall, but that is gonna stay. I could dig it out. Let me see if I can push it a little more. That is, look at that. It's staying nice and secure. I like that. I want a little more insurance, it's gonna stay. So here's where the garden netting comes in. This came out of my garden. It was covering up our grapevines. And uh, wow, after a year of being out there, it's perfect for ghostly duties. You can get garden netting online in your local hardware or store. So we'll leave links below to show you where to do that. I've got a huge piece here and I, I put a knot in it just to keep it together. And what I want to do is get some idea of how much I want to trail off. And this is really, really up to you because if you set him on something high outside of your home, I mean, the trailing of this netting is really effective as spooky spooky ghosty stuff. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna put this over his head and I'm gonna get a general measurement. This, uh, If it's uneven, that's perfect. I'm not trying to make it even. I want it to look ghostly. So I'm liking that amount right there. And what I'm gonna do is since I had it all rolled up, I'm just gonna make a cut. I know I have a whole lot of this fabric so I can be generous and how much I put on. So now I have a general measurement of how much of this I want each strand to be. And I will duplicate that by getting another general measurement. This is gonna seem sloppy, but it's gonna work. So I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna make another cut here and then I'm gonna take that and see how much I've got left here to make another cut oh boy and I do okay and then there's just a little bit left and that'll be good for tying his head on so I've got three strands of my ghostly netting next comes the lighting so we're gonna take his head off I'm going to take our fairy lights. Now I was um, lucky to find these because they have a remote control 
which means once we fill this bottle with these fairy lights, I can go ahead and just pick the selection that I want as far as how the lights will dim or light, how they will react. So I'm just gonna push them in there. Not uh, really paying much attention, <laughs> just uh, getting them in there. <laughs> it. Yeah. Okay. So it's hanging a little bit off the bottom like that. And there's many different settings. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Okay. So I'm taking some tape, regular packaging tape. And I'm gonna find a spot on the bottle, go towards where it's in the middle. And I'm just going to let it rest on the bottle. Very, very simple. This way too, if you wanna replace the batteries, you just tear it off, replace the batteries, stick it back on. Now I wanna hide that a little bit and I'm gonna use a pillowcase, standard pillowcase. And this is just to, let's put his head back on head goes right over the fairy light, helps hold that in place. Okay, and now we're gonna take a standard pillowcase. Probably a king size would be better, but I had the standards kicking around and I just want enough here to hide the styrofoam a little bit and to make the ghosty look a little more uniform. Okay, I'm just gonna tuck in the points of the pillowcase a little bit so you can get the general idea when I come around here that's where his head's gonna be. Now we've come to already the netting. Now this can get a little bit on the crazy side but I've got the pieces measured out. I'm gonna go to the center of the piece however length you've got and I'm gonna spread it out a little bit and I'm gonna go right over the top of the ghost and let it fall. Now this, you can play around as much as you want with this. You cannot go wrong. The only thing you need to do is, I came this way, so it's flowing that way. Now the next piece, I wanna go the opposite way. So he's gonna to flow towards you. You're making the lengths work. Kind of with each other, against each other, but you're getting the effect, yeah? Okay, so then we got that, and that, Futzing with the bottom very much. I just want to cover up the ghost and make sure he's got some in the front, some in the back. Now I've got one more piece. And you can see what effect. I think I'm going to go sideways again. Okay, and I'm going to come over the top. So now you see you've got several layers. Oh, this is looking kind of on the creepy side. <laughs> just what I wanted. So we've got this here. Now, however this looks here, you can see I'm pulling it down around with my hands. That's the look, except I want to hold in his head a little bit. And with that, I'm gonna use that other little extra piece that I had. So I'm just gonna unknot this. I love that there's no glue for this project. That makes this, because this fabric here would not protect you from the glue. So I've got this extra piece and I'm just going to go around his head. I'm just going to go a little bit and see this length too will not only show you what his neck, where his neck is, but it gives him a little more of a ooh, billowy. Let's see, where did it go? There it is. That's getting mixed up with the rest. And I'm just going to put a very simple knot in the back. You could put it in the front if you want, a more dapper ghost. I just wanted it in the back. The back also shows you, gives you a signal or a sign as to where the controls are. So I'm kind of use, using that as a little, it's back here. You don't have to go all over the ghost to look. So I'm gonna put a little double knot. You could put a, a bow if you want. Can you believe it is that simple? 
Okay, got this much going. Wow, now he needs a face. He really needs a face. Now I asked my grandson, he wanted a scary face. And the one I had made already had a happy face. So I guess we'll go with the scary face. And that is means just getting some sticky felt. Go over here, ghosty. Whoa, you are a big ghost. Yes, you are. Okay, wow. Get you out of the way. I gotta make your face. Um, sticky felt. So um, I need eyeballs. I'm just gonna fold this in half. And I'm just gonna willy-nilly cut in half and I'm gonna create a couple of eyeballs. And I don't want these as big as I had on, on that ghost there. So um, he wants a, more of a mean ghost, but this mean ghost is gonna have happy eyes. How's that? And we're gonna come up here. Oh, they're pretty big. I think I'm gonna cut them down just a little bit. And make a little bit rounder. There's gonna be my eyes. You see that? So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. Very simple. Just get the sticky off the back. And because this uh, netting is so light, let me see you. Okay, I'll put one here. And you just press it, and styrofoam helps with that. Press it on, and do the other. And if you don't like it, you rip it off and make a new one. <laughs> you got sticky felt, we can do that. You put this one on. Okay, right now, you could leave it. Ooh, a lot of ghosties don't have a mouth. This one is going to have a mouth. He wanted a mean mouth. I'm not good at doing mean mouths. I, I don't go on the mean side. I go on the happy side. So what am I going to do? Uh, how about if I just do a big O mouth? Okay, I only need one of them. Save my sticky in case I decide to make something else. Uh, just a, an O. Only I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do... Oh, oh, that's good. Ooh. Yes, I make sounds when I cut these things out. There's, there's a very... Oh, I don't like you. I like the happy guy better. So it's up to you what kind of face you put on. Grab your sticky felt. Draw out a mean looking face. There's he. He looks sad. But... He's my guy here, so we need a little more. I want a little bit of highlight in his eyes, so I'm gonna take a different color. You could use white, I just happen to have this creamy yellow on hand. So I'm gonna take a couple of circles. And give them. Try to figure out where he'd look meanest. Why do we have to have a mean ghost? I want a happy ghost. I'm just gonna stick it over there. He's looking over there to see who's coming. Ooh. Okay. Sticky, where did I put it? Sticky. Sticky, okay. Still doesn't look mean enough to me. So I think eyebrows. Let's give him some mean eyebrows. Where were those scraps I had earlier? All right, so we're gonna do a couple of eyebrows. What are we gonna do here? Here's two pieces. Aha, good. Oh, this might be perfect. This scrap has got a meanness to it. Okay, good. This is a great project for kids. Okay, here we go. I'll put your mean eyebrows on. Ooh. Okay, you now you're looking meaner. I, I got it. I get it. You just want to make sure that you uh, mimic your your pieces so that they they mirror each other. They don't have to, but I like to do that. Okay, I'm gonna hold them down to you. Ugh, what do you think? Uh, you know, I like happy better, but you'll be a nice compliment to him. What else? Are we done? Well, let's see. We've got the bottle, 
styrofoam, the netting, the pillowcase, the lights, the face. So he's ready to go. And actually, because this is a nice light set, I have a remote that I can turn him on and off with. So let's see how that looks. He's turned on and I love the spooky effect. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and remember to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, look at Recycle a Bottle first. Turn it into a ghost. I can't wait to see him outside on Halloween. Mm -hmm.